fucking ready, dude. I'm so, I'm so ready to go live. The question is, are you guys ready? Because I was fucking born ready. How? Get this thing up here. Ah, oh, shit. There it went. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Back. There we go. Okay. What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let me make sure that I get this. Um... Okay, there we are. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm... Today, I'm trying to use my tablet to view the chat. Um, I'm hoping it makes it a little easier to keep up with it. For me, when I'm streaming on the uh, on the computer, I find it sort of difficult. You know what I mean? Top chat, live chat. Okay. There we go. So, we got some people already hanging out with me. You guys know the show isn't officially starting until 6, so we got about 5 minutes. So, I just wanted to say what's up to everybody. Got my boy Ryan Perez is here as always. What's happening, brother? Uh, prototype 8 here was super early. Like, you got here scary early, dude. But, I mean, you know. <laughs> one love, mad respect. Don't know what to call it, but it's very cool that you were here that early. We got artists and screen printings in the house with us. Uh, L to L is here. Inking Zinks here, as always. Good to see you, my friend. Mark Guerrero's here. Uh, Samuel Views, Jason Inns, Prototype 8. Wait, I already said what's up to you. Jason Delfoss is here as always. Jason Hadfield. Who else is hanging with us? James Millett. Jerry Zepp. Stelios Kretz. Meryl Smith. Scott King Designs. Gary Holt. You know, a bunch of real cool motherfuckers. So thank you guys for joining in. Thank you for being here. Not top chat, dude. I want to see a live chat. There we go. There it is. Okay. Uh, so Jesse is not going to be here today. He got out of here early. Uh, and uh, I, di I just didn't really have a show planned. It would have been nice to have him here. But we'll, we're gonna he's going to be in every other week for now. Uh, Takes some getting used to. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Hey, Gary. What's up, Sincere Jamrock? How are you? Madison Smith is hanging with us. Die Fresh. Die Fresh? Screen print? Die Fresh. That's a cool name. Interesting. Um, Jose Castellanos is hanging with us. Derek Goodrist is here, man. You get a lot of you guys here right now. Very cool. It'd be nice to see. Um... Okay, guys. Now, do me a favor. While we're here live and you're hanging out waiting for the show to start, got about three minutes, go ahead and hit that thumbs up uh, and all that shit. There's my chat. Do that good stuff. And then also, can you... Uh, the comment is the chat, right? Anyway, and then let everyone know, everyone know that we're live. In the meantime, I'm going to come in here and do a little sharing. I'm going to share it to Facebook that we live. <laughs> Good. Hey, bro, hey, dude, long, if you're here, I'm happy. I mean, you're an eager beaver, but I, I love it. The more eager beavers we got, the stronger the fam grows. And, uh, you know, who knows where this thing could end up. So what should I say uh, to Facebook? Because I'm so tired of saying the same shit. Shared to Facebook. Uh, who else is a? I know when I first started doing this, I would get, I would go ape shit crazy and share on every single platform. I kind of stopped doing that. I guess I got lazy. I need to get back on that game. Okay, I'm tweeting it, I'm Google Plus in it too, man. I'm gonna Google Plus it. Okay, today, there we go. That's how it goes, guys. Um, what's up, Brian? How are you, my friend? Jason's here. Yeah, Jason's a little late. That's kind of out of the norm for you, don't you think, dude? Normally, you're the early bird. What's up, bro? You busy? You working too much? Maybe you need a break? Uh, who else we got here? Doug Horn, I think you might be new. What's up, Doug? 
Dave and Tay, what up, what up? Artisan Screen Printing, uh, Madison Smith, so many good people. Now I have a bit of a delay because I'm using this. It's not live like I have here. We're pretty close. Where's my East Coast thing? It says, yeah, pretty close actually. Google Plus isn't really a thing, but it does seem to matter to Google, who owns YouTube. They they seem to care about it, yeah. So I think it on might be the, new. What's up, Doug? going to be an echo. There we go. Yeah, it seems to be sort of a thing. All righty, what time is it? Six, man. So let me uh let me go back here. Let me get this weight screen rolling. I'm pretty sure that the intro's broken. Yeah, I'm like I'm actually ninety percent sure this is broken. Hang on real quick. I'm gonna click this. Oh, now it works. Shit. Hang on, guys. Doesn't work very well, though, does it? Okay. <laughs> that, was not, that was not the official start, because I just tried it a second ago, and it didn't work. So now it works. What the hell, man? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Uh, la, 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 la. What's up, Craig? Good to see you, man. All right, guys. Are we ready to do this thing? I think we are. Uh, cheers. Got a Tecate in my hands. Cheers to everybody. Tink, 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 tink. Beers all around. Am I in focus this time? Because last time, I definitely was not in focus. But it looks good. Let me go ahead and hit record on my audio. Testing, testing. One, two, three. I'm going to give a little more volume to my voice here. Testies, testies. Testies, testies. Testicles, testicles. Okay, sounds good. Hitting record in three, two, one. And it's 6.01 p.m. We're live, guys. Got that weight screen holding it down for me. Let's go ahead and roll the intro, and then we'll get started on this bad boy. Eh? Yeah, roll the intro. And there's no music. What's going on, friend fam? My name is Sam. Welcome. To the Print Life live video podcast, because you probably can't hear the music because this thing sucks donkey balls. Welcome back to the show. If this is your first time here, my name is Cam, and this is the Print Life live video podcast slash Q&A slash just your good old-fashioned live stream, whatever you want to, you know, you know the routine. Uh, welcome to the show. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh... And, you know, I, the more I think about this thing and what it is, the more important it becomes to me, or the, the more important it is for me to take a second before the show starts and I and to just honestly thank all of you for taking. I know you all are busy. You all are small business owners. But it, I just want to let you know that uh, I value the fact that you're taking some time out of your busy day to hang out here with me and the rest of the print fam, talk a little shit, listen to me ramble, ramble at each other. It's a good time, and, uh, you know, I just think it's really cool that you guys all come in here and hang with me. So I needed to get that out of the way. Uh, today, as far as the way the show is going to go, we're going to get right into some industry and independent shop news from the Print Life Facebook group. If you haven't joined, go on over, send a request to join now. You need to be subscribed to the YouTube channel to get approved, so make sure you're subscribed. Uh, and then once we do all that independent shop news, um, I'm just going to get right to the Q&A today. I don't have a business topic. I was thinking of a few things that I wanted to talk about, but um, I don't know. My brain couldn't go there. I couldn't come up with answers. I didn't really feel like being preachy today, so I avoided it. So we're just going to go right to the Q&A. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. Got a new watch. My other Cas Casio broke, so I went with the gold-plated Casio today I'm, f I'm feeling super fresh i said f yeah i did say fresh yes i did yeah i'm feeling good about it uh and then once we're done with that uh well we'll get into the q a so go ahead and right now if you're going to call your q a in call 800-806-3518 it'll stay closed just hit extension 5 and it'll take you to the voicemail thing and it'll give you prompts on what to do next um uh, what else pretty much it right let's go ahead and jump right into some industry uh independent and industry shop news and we're going to do that by going to the print life facebook group and of course i'm not logged in why the fuck would i be right hang on guys can't remember any of my login stuff let me see 
Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. It's one of these. Yeah. Don't care, man. Yeah, let me try logging in again. You fucking assholes. Uh, maybe it's... See, I don't log into Facebook enough. I use it. There it goes. Ha! Nailed it. No problems. Oh, sorry guys, this is going this is going really well. How the fuck are you guys? While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go back to the chat and make sure that I didn't miss anyone. I wanted to, I shouted a bunch of people out before we officially go live, but once we go live, I don't like to do too much of that. Um you know, mainly because I want it to be audibly interesting so that it, it plays well like on iTunes and Google Play and if I'm just sitting there shouting people out for 10 minutes it, I don't know maybe that is interesting to people but to me it doesn't seem super interesting but I do want to just say what's up to Dragon Skin Mobile Detailing Chronic Designs you guys just joined in uh, the Frank D70 just joined in with us who else we got Dave and Tay Uproars here as always good to see you Gary Holt, Lost Boy, TNT, Greg Robertson, and Jeff D. I think I got everybody. That should be pretty much it. Welcome to the show, guys. What do you say? You ready to get into this independent shop news via the Print Life Facebook group? Because I am. Let's do it. Starting from the top, from most recent. This one was three hours ago, and this was posted from Kevin Gunn. He's got some shop news. Printed a rush job for a conspiracy group this week love it already i'm a conspiracy theorist to boot two screens no under base print flash print white and print plant plant pl 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 and print flash print flag red damn dude four hits yeah we end up doing that shit sometimes too so inefficient makes it take so long but good job the print looks awesome um what do you guys think Are you guys checking it out what do you think of this trust the plan with the red and the white let us know in the chat Moving on, Brad Howes, hey guy, working on sales funnel, customer acquisition, if anyone wants to give my new quote form a run for its money, it was free, lol, eh, nah, nah, ooh, here's some good shop news, Brett Childs, their assembly is almost complete on their rock installation, they're going to have this thing spinning later today, it's good terminology, congratulations, Brett. What are you replacing it with? It looks like you're a former MNR guy, just like every other shop nationwide. They're all switching to rock. One by one, huh? Just taking them down. What do we got here? Kevin Reek Jr. built himself a little screen drying rack. And he does want to know if there's any suggestions for light proofing this thing. Uh, let us know in the chat right now. Or head over to the Facebook group and leave a comment. Obviously, yeah, some plywood, man. Throw some fans in there so that you got a drying cabinet. Very nice job. Uh, and Jason Del Foss, as always, making sure to remind you guys to post your shop news to this thing. Uh, that was 22 hours ago. Uh, so there wasn't much fresh posting today. That's okay, though. No, no harm, no foul. Uh, but thank you, Jason, for popping in on that. Uh, we have uh, John Carter that just states that he's seriously thinking about investing in an auto. Any suggestions on a smaller one? And, of course, there was probably, yep, 15 comments on that one. That's the topic. That's the uh, that's the most popular discussion. When's it time to automate? Here we go. Ronnie Freeman's got some interesting news. Just upgraded to a con a bigger conveyor dryer from the D100. He got himself a, an older National, but these things are more or less workhorses, right? So, congratulations, dude. I like the little I like the shop. You probably got air conditioning in there too, don't you? Very nice, dude. Yeah, that, that dryer is a workhorse, and I think it's really easy to work on, like our Phoenix dryer. It's just easy to fix stuff if you have to. Uh, Andrew Fer Farias has a, a new Ryanet flash, doesn't have a dryer. Oh, that's a question. Can anyone tell me where to get a new conveyor belt for the HBE series? If anyone knows that, let him know. Definitely not shop news. Anatole Volt versus Brown Electroprint. Thoughts and experiences? Don't know. A lot of people do not run with either of them. They're they're terrified of them. I'd like to have an Anatol Volt very much so. Okay, here's some shop news from Will Daly. Thank you, Will, for sharing. Um, just ordered his heat press. 
he's kind of he says he knows it's not top notch, but it'll do for now. And hell yeah, it will, dude. I mean, these things, bro. Just be careful with them, man. Just like that flash, dude. Things get like the the solid state relays will get like bound together, and the next thing you know, you left it plugged in, power switch was off, and the whole shop burns down. Just be careful with them. Robert Huffman made a nice post here. Just says, "Welcome to the shop." It's extremely small, but it'll get her done. Yep, got a work desk, got press, got everything you need to get started, man. That's the, those are the that's when screen printing is the funnest. No, screen printing is the funnest when you get a good film printer, like an Epson. Uh, you get a good exposure table, and you get a press with micros. All of a sudden, screen print the whole world opens up, and you're just having a good time. Okay, here we go. Uh, Frankie Berrigan just locked himself down a new client. Congratulations to you, Frankie. Thank you for sharing. That's very cool. I promise no one from the print fam is going to come in and try to poach them. Because people in the print fam aren't sons bitches. But if they're not in the print fam, they might be sons bitches. And in which case, I don't know. Don't know. But no one in this group is going to do it. Thank you for sharing. Lots of questions in here. Ooh, okay, here's an interesting one. New DTG or new Workhorse Freedom Express. Oh, oh God. Dude, because I'm getting sold on DTG. Not, I don't think it's there yet, but, like, if I were going to invest a half a mil, you know, or, or I don't know, even 100,000, 500K in, in, in some large equipment, I might be enticed to go with, like, one of those large format cornets or something like that. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. When I was at ISS, I saw some shit, and I, it was like my fucking, my mind was blown. But I don't think it's there yet. Here we go. This is from uh, June 23rd. This is from Kevin Gunn. I think this is probably about the last most recent one. Everything else is from, eh, maybe here. Uh, what does he got? What's happening? He found this little gem. Uh, it's, a, it's a small little conveyor dryer. Can anyone tell him what brand this model may be? Uh, Works fine, has a coil style, heating element, variable belt speed. So happy to finally have a conveyor dryer. Woohoo! That was weird. I had there was no that was faked excitement. I couldn't I didn't you know, I didn't commit. Yeah, I'm not gonna commit. But dude, congratulations. Very nice. Shit. Hey Print Fan, we're having problems bringing in new sales. This isn't, you know, this is a question, and maybe this is a good segue into the Q&A portion of this thing. So let's go ahead and have you guys start submitting your questions now. We're just going to, I'm going to bang through this quick, man. This doesn't have to be a long one today. Uh, but before I get into that, this is an interesting Q&A to, to kind of set this thing up. But I want to go back to the chat and just say what's up to everybody, see if I missed anything. Uh, well, Dave and Tate, they got no more beers left. All the beers are gone. I'm assuming they've been drinking them throughout the day, which I totally respect, and uh, you know, it's all good, dude. Uh, what's up, there? Uh, we got some people just hanging in here. Saying what's up. What's up, Mikey Designs? How's it going, my friend? What's up, Standard Graphics? Back, as always. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Peter Bryant's here. Chronic Designs is here. Uh, who else did I miss that I didn't say hey to earlier? Derek Goodrich, what's happening? Upstage. What camera are you using to make your videos? I use the Lumix G7. It's a badass little camera. It does shoot 4K, even though I never put it into 4K. Autofocus is dog shit. It's the bane of my existence because of the autofocus. But other than that, it's a really good camera and it's super affordable, especially now. Uh, what camera are you using to make it? Anyway, cool. Uh, Give me the real woohoo. I can't do it, man. I feel low. I feel low energy today. Woohoo! Slightly forced, but we'll take it. Uh, I don't know. I feel low energy, guys. I just, you know, there's certain days where it's just, it's just not what you want. But I gave you one, dude. Would you like to trademark a brand slogan? What is the best route to do that? Attorney, LegalZoom. LegalZoom actually seems to work pretty well. I use the thing called TrademarkEngine.com. And, uh, I, oh, yeah, I got my, they sent me my little adorable, I finally got my certificate of authenticity saying that I am, in fact, trademarked. Very cool. First used in commerce, second claim. I don't even know how to read this shit. 
Only problem is I thought that I had also I got to apply for another class like right away because I've got clothing, I've got um, videos, class 41. I don't know really what that shit is. I've got to also get software in there. But yeah, I got my certificate, so that is that's pretty cool. But yeah, try um fuck trademarkengine.com. Try them. They it was really good. It worked really well. Uh, all right, guys. So yeah, start submitting your questions. Uh, also, if you have questions, call it into the hotline. If there ain't nothing, I am not gonna be heartbroken about cutting this thing super duper short because I'm starving. Uh, and that so that would be nice. So yeah, go ahead and start submitting your questions, and I'll hit them. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back to this one because I saw this question from the Facebook group, and uh, I thought it might be fun to try to address it. I've talked about it a million times before, but why not? change my mind on this all the time so this is from brad house he says up print fam we're having problems with bringing in new sales and i want to know what your favorite form of advertisement is social media google adwords yelp etc etc we're currently bringing in about two to three jobs a week but he needs to bump it to six a week or is this gonna go out of business currently thinking about posting an ad for screen printing deals something like two color shirts for seven dollars twenty whatever minimums all you know those different ads that people do 24 white shirts for 99 bucks whatever uh and he's just looking for advice okay well f to me dude like i've tried all that shit I, and i definitely i don't even really know where to go with this you had a handful of questions in there Okay, first things first, just what are some good forms of advertising? And I think that they're all good forms. And I, I'm sure that most, if it looks like I'm setting in a goddamn, hang on, guys. Looks like I'm setting in a hole. There we go. I think most of the people in this fam or that have, that have ex, uh, experimented with advertising online would say the same thing. You kind of got to get hit all your avenues, but maybe just pick one or two to start. Now, Google AdWords is a tried and true almost proven method if you have the budget for it in my opinion though when you're first starting out if your website is not already like killing the SEO game and if you're not killing the landing page and you haven't got your home page perfectly lined out to convert then you may find that Google AdWords you're dumping money into it but you're not seeing much return that that particular program is for when you've got your your funnel your sales funnel locked down so maybe don't start with that or maybe do it's up to you uh, I think Facebook ads is a lot more affordable right now per click so that's a good place to start with your paid advertising campaigns I haven't had much uh, luck with Facebook personally but you know it might be a, a worthwhile Avenue to start I would say for you if you're just starting out the most viable form of advertising is your website especially if you've built it on the WordPress platform you install a um, a plugin called Yoast SEO and Yoast SEO makes it to where in every post or page that you create in WordPress it helps you um, do the things necessary for it to rank in Google both in their local search and in some cases their national search but these days that that's not so powerful but still your local proximity based searches are very important and um, Yoast SEO can help you with that and Yoast SEO is ex as far as I know exclusive to WordPress It may be available for other platforms, but that's where I would start Start learning your basic local SEO tactics tack tactics. Is it tactics? Or is it tactics? I would pick up a book on Google or not Google on on Amazon because that's where we all shop I hate Amazon yet I shop there all the time, but pick up a local SEO book from Amazon apply those principles to your website and that is the first form of advertising I would start with because that's just low-hanging fruit and you you should at the very least be picking up those proximity based searches whereas if someone down the street goes to Google and says screen printing if you're in their area you want to show up on the first page of Google under that search and if you don't have your site and all that shit in order you're gonna miss all that dude uh, the next the next most important thing in my opinion and I, I'm sure that most of the print fam would agree is um, uh, it's, it's word of mouth, but word of mouth is so, is used so poorly, right? People say, oh yeah, it's all, hey, it's all word of mouth. I get all my business from word of mouth, but it's not that simple. What it actually is, is someone gives you a chance to do good work for them. If you do good work for them, uh, they may or may not come back. 
I think word of mouth is more cultivating your existing client base. And when you cultivate one client, someone that gave you a shot, you do a good job for them and then you follow up with them and you treat them like they're the only customer on earth and you do that for maybe another job, then that is when they will tell their friends or their families or their coworkers to come to you. I don't think that old word of mouth where you did one job for somebody and they're like, oh yeah, this guy was amazing. I don't think that that works anymore, but the way true word of mouth takes hold is when you put everything you have into that one client, a good client. And again, you got to have some filters in place to start figuring out who is reordering. And But if a client comes back to you twice, man, you got to cultivate them. And if you do right by them, they will tell their coworkers, right? They're going to tell people. And that's where that word of mouth comes in. And um, I do, I mean, this is like, to me, we have a handful of clients, and uh, and don't get me wrong, we've dropped the ball, we've screwed, I mean, personally, I've just screwed the pooch on so many good clients, but we still have enough of them that are core clients, we give them, we make sure that we're ahead of schedule for them, we make sure that we're always on deadline for them, they're the priority over new clients, every single time, and after we've done a handful of jobs for them, now anyone that ever needs screen printing, if they bring it up to that person, we get a good solid referral and then we have another opportunity to, to uh, you know prove ourselves to that client it's a slow very it can be a very slow but it's a very organic process and I would say that that's the most second important way of um, of acquiring new new business man just cultivate what you already have if you're getting three jobs a week you have three clients a week that you should be bending over backwards to just let them know how much you care about their business. And those are the ones that will get you new business. It takes time, but uh, that's the next best thing. And then maybe number three, um, again, the pay-per-click stuff, it's risky. So I, I have a hard time endorsing it here, although I do very much believe in pay-per-click programs. But I would say more, more so than that, man, just go for all that free, low-hanging advertising. Uh, start a Facebook group for maybe local uh, uh, grant like we have the print life Facebook group which is amazing but it's screen printer to screen printer you're not gonna acquire a lot of business out of that but if you possibly started a group for local businesses and you got people involved in that you start creating a community maybe you start a YouTube channel not around screen printing you all see me do that it gets you very little work but if you started a channel um, for new businesses or how to start business or how to you know those that's free it takes a lot of effort but you could do that and you would probably acquire some clients that way i would do all of those kind of social media things before i ever considered doing any kind of paid per click program in my opinion hopefully that helped man i i truly believe that that's the way and uh, hey guys i just got a notification that we have high cpu usage is everything holding up okay Yeah, let me know in the chat if uh, everything is going good and it's not skipping because my computer just warned me that we are a little high on CPU usage. As a matter of fact, I'm going to kill the Twitch and the Facebook stream because it's just annihilating my CPU. But is everything else good to go, guys? Everything running smoothly? Hopefully, uh, that was helpful to you, my friend. Uh, and we're going to go on in back to the chat and see if we have any good questions in here. What's up, Mige? What's up, Ben? Glad to see you guys. Thank you for hanging with me. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, man. I do, I just saw uh, somebody and it sounds like they're probably partially answering a question that I was, but someone else's question says, don't bother with Facebook. You'll really just get screen printers liking your page. It's hard to reach clients through Facebook. And I do, I do agree with that. Uh, unless you build the right group. I think if you can build a small business group and you can cultivate multiple business owners that are in that group inputting their business experience, that might catch on. But yeah, the general Facebook pages and shit, you just find other screen printers. I do agree with that. Uh, I've never really cracked the Facebook code. I, I don't really understand how it works. What I, The one where I put all of my attention was in Google and getting that search killing, you know, that's really where it's at to me. Anyway, hopefully that helped. Uh, any more questions in here? Probably the fuck. Here we go. Will Daly, with the CCI VPR emulsion, how are you applying? One and one or one and two or one? Uh, we do two and two on the 150S meshes. We do uh, one and one on anything over 200. 
Uh, two and two actually seems to be a little thick on those 150s meshes. Uh, but yeah, that's what we do. Main, dude, you can get away with one and one on pretty much all of it, and it saves a lot of emulsion because that shit's so expensive. Um, that's just the way that's gonna go. Hey, uh, prototype, we are going to be in Austin, Texas, uh, July. The God damn it, July the 17th. We're doing an event for Apple out there. Uh, so that'd be cool. That's cool. Very, very cool. Figured that was just cool because you're in Austin, so whatever. Who else we got? Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, so everything's good to go. I just, honestly, guys, I just, I don't know why I would say honestly. That's weird. I just cut the Facebook and the Twitch feed. I just cut them off because they were sucking up my CPU. It's all good being able to stream to all those platforms, but when you're doing multiple streams, like, it, it just wears on your computer. It's hard for it to keep up. Uh, okay, so no more questions here at the moment. You guys keep submitting your questions in the chat. Mem remember to go at the print life so that I know you're directing it at me and you're not having some kind of weird fucking chat. Chat. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what you guys got going on here, actually. It's hard to keep up with. That's why it's nice having Jesse here because he stays on top of things. Google review. There's, there we go. That's another very important point i completely forgot that jose castellanos yes google reviews really work and they do uh also yelp reviews work but i got s fucking slammed on my i have not done well with yelp i put all my effort and energy into google uh and yelp fell by the wayside and it did hurt us a little bit but the reviews on google and yelp are huge it's a huge deal my i built because they were so important to me i built in a thing that automatically sends an email after the job is completed to ask the clients to leave a review on either Google or Yelp. Uh, and it's just made the world a difference. And the more reviews that we get on Google, uh, the more work we seem to get. So it really is important. And hopefully Yelp, hopefully Yelp just takes a flying, you know, F-bomb uh, into obscurity. Because the Yelpers are just the worst, man. I can't stand them. Uh, yeah, prototype. Maybe if we if we have time, dude, it's like an in and out. We fly in, we do the event, we fly right into Orlando. But if we have time, that would be awesome. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, but thank you, Jose, for tuning in on that, man. And then I just saw here from Juan. He says, any recommendations on doing full color images for screen pr printing? What process would you use? I cannot stand um, CMYK with screen printing. It's too inconsistent. Uh, you know, because if you can't get exact squeegee pressures and stuff, I just have a hard time with it, especially on dark. So I always go simulated process almost exclusively. I would look into that first before you try messing with CMYK. But some people love it, man. I don't personally. But to be 100% honest, we try to turn down as much of the simulated process photograph type printing as we can. It's just the pay is not worth what it takes to get them to look good. And, of course, you don't want to send it out unless it looks awesome. Uh, so, to me, I, 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 the longer I'm in this business, the more picky I get with jobs. You know what I'm saying? But if I were you and you're just starting, I would say go, try simulated process first. Uh, Jason Hadfield. Next software live vlog coming up soon. Update on progress. You know, it is. I, I want to do another one. I'm waiting for they're, – they're getting everything kind of tied up, and they're putting it on the um, development server. But I don't want to go live until I can actually, like, click, like – and it shows some of the, the way that things function. And they're getting very close. It's coming soon. And, then yes, I will go live on Facebook. I know I completely dropped the ball on you guys and fucking said I would do it at this time, and then I would forget. And then I said I would do it at this time, and then I forgot. But I'm going to do a walkthrough with you guys very, very shortly. Just keep kind of ringing the bell and sounding the trumpet that the Print Life software is coming soon. Because I've noticed in other groups, people are asking about what software options there are. Uh, if you could just tell them, hey, man, Cam's releasing one pretty soon. So just hold out until he releases around September. That would be amazing. Thanks, guys. Anyway, what else we got? Hey, Cam, looking into automating. Just looked at a Rock P12 which leaning towards also like the Anatol rep price difference is huge. What do you recommend? I, I just don't have an opinion about automatics. I think 
personally, dude, in 2018, they're all – this is what I – I think they're all awesome. I think The Rock is the cool kids kind of press. I think the m and is tried and true. It'll – It'll get it'll get it done. Uh, I think I think Anatol is amazing. I, I saw the Volt in action. I know people just talk large volumes of trash on it, but I think that the Volt's awesome. And I also think that the Workhorse Saber is cool, man. I like MHM. I like them all. Point is, it is your responsibility as a printer to get the goddamn best price, man. You need to get the best financing option, the best interest rate, unless you're paying cash, in which case, kudos to you. Uh, and you got to play those muffs against each other, man. You know, it's your responsibility to get them gunning for your business, dude. Don't just jump right into the most expensive press on the market, which is the Rock, right, or the MHMs. Um, figure out exactly what you need and uh, play them against each other, dude. That's the name of the game, man. Because I'll be, in my opinion, they're all... They will all do what you need them to do. They'll all do it a little bit differently, but they'll all get it done. That's that's my final, dude. Ugh, it's a hard one, right? Because I just don't have... It's like I'm kind of speaking uh, out of turn, or I'm just I'm winging it. Because I just don't have a lot of, of experience with them. I printed on a gauntlet at my old shop. And other than that, I don't... I just haven't had to run automatics a lot. So I don't know a lot about them. Uh, but I got to see them all up close and personal, dude. And you can't go wrong with any of them. The real trick is to get the absolute best deal you can. Now, uh, I would probably be singing a different tune if they, if one of them gave me one. Then I'd be like, "Yeah, get this one." But until that happens, man, they're all they're all great. I will say this: though. I'm kind of, for some strange reason, I'm partial to the Volt from Anatol, mainly just because it's all electric. And the only other, um, I'm partial to. Uh, I like the Rock, but I like the Rock Eco because it has the digital uh, micros where it's like a button thing. So there's no clamps. There's none of that shit. But I really like the idea of that digital micro. That's pretty awesome. I think that comes on the more upgraded Eco model, but I think that that's a really cool feature. Right? Anyway, very cool. Jason, yeah, man, just hang off, guys. Like I say over and over, I keep saying it, and I'm kind of like starting to feel like I'm just fucking spamming you guys, but... Just don't make a decision on the software until until mine launches. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to think it's the best. I believe it will be amazing. But just because I think that, you know, it's going to be up to you guys to test it out and see. But just hang tight. Madison Sprith, what is this? Stop with the thing, man. This thing is tripping out right now. Okay, God damn it. Oh, my good Lord Almighty. Oh, awesome. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. My tablet's tripping. Nope. Not. Mm, nope. Not the right one. D mm, nope. Oh, goodness gracious, dudes. Playing hot ones instead of my thing. This is crazy. Unacceptable. Okay. Enough with the tablet, huh? Enough with the fucking tablet. Oh, here we go. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, my lord, dude. Okay, this ain't working. Okay, I need to pop the chat out on uh, this thing. What's a good place to buy ink? I think the best place to buy ink, this is from um, Aronson Duran. The best place to buy ink is obviously going to be your local supplier because you're not going to pay shipping. Or you're not going to have those minimums that you have to deal with um, if you're ordering in small quantities. So if you're just starting out, always look for a local screen printing supplier first. If and then you do not succeed and they don't and you can't find one locally... I mean, there's Anthem Screen Printing Supply, there's Cat Spit, there's there's a bunch of online ones. Uh, I don't, I refuse to endorse any one particular uh, group of people, um, but I would I would really try to go local first. That's what I would do. Just that way, because if you just need a quart of white in a pinch, you don't gotta go, you don't gotta order two hundred dollars worth of shit to get shipping for free. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would say, dude. 
Uh, do you use regular scrub pads on your S mess? I've heard it's unhealthy for the mesh, but not sure if that's really true. We do. We use the regular red ones. We are sensitive with them. They do seem to be like super prone to popping. But yeah, I mean, we haven't had to change too much. We're just a lot more careful. I'm sure that there's some some tech head somewhere saying that you have to use, I don't know, what, what else would you use, right? Like a cloth. I'm sure there's someone saying that you can't do it somewhere, but so far, so good. Uh, and I think scouring up that polyester thread a little bit actually helps the emulsion adhere to it a little bit better. So no problem so far. If you do hear something else about that, be sure to let me know, please. Nope. Swamp coolers like just don't seem to work in Arizona during the summer. It gets so hot. I know they don't work in Florida either, though. Mikey Design. Oh, thank you. Cre Holy shit. Creative Design and Ink went all out on the fucking Super Chat. Thank you, brother. So much. Did you have a question attached to that? Again, everybody, give a Creative Design and Ink a shout out for throwing me the humongous Super Chat. That's amazing. Um, Where was I here? Everybody need to subscribe to the Print Life. Yes, please do, guys. Thank you. That's, that's uh, my... Jumping in here. Irvin Family Vlogs, huh? Looks like my nephews are starting vlogging as well. You do regular scrub. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where do you start with pricing for live events? Mm, this is from uh, Rigo Sanchez. And I'm not telling because we're just starting to catch on with that one. Uh, and that industry is very... Um, you know, it's, it's a small industry and it can easily be taken over and just ran right into the toilet. So that one I'm keeping close to myself for the next couple of years. Uh, after I've secured enough clients that have, keep coming back to us, then I'll start sharing how to do it. But at the moment I'm keeping that one pretty close to the, to the vest. Sorry, man. I know everybody wants to do it, but I put a lot of money and time and effort into making the press. I gotta, you know, I gotta get my little, gotta get my value out of it first. I wish there was a supply shop near me, this near the surprise area. Sucks having to drive. Yeah, but that's not bad, Chronic. Uh, yeah, yeah, it depends on how much you order. But if you if you order frequently from your local supplier, a lot of the times they'll deliver to you. You know, if you just kind of bulk it up, they'll deliver it to you for free. But that sucks. Yeah, that's the problem with supplies, man. You need to be in a downtown area, I think. That's, in my experience, that's just kind of the case. Uh, I've seen that you guys submitted quite a few questions in there, but let's go ahead and go to the hotline and see if we got any questions from anybody. Uh, what's this here? Monahu, Cam. This is Will Center from Indigenous Graphics cool. here in Bishop, California. What's up, man? And my question I had for you was, how do you go about uh, doing donations or uh, fundraising on printing shirts. Uh, what kind of guidelines do you go by for doing that for people who request that? Or you want to do it on your own just because it's for a cause? Um, just kind of want an insight on that because I'm not sure how I would go about that. Yeah. And I've had some some travel members asking about donations or help out with uh, fundraising with shirts. Yeah, I just want to get your input on that. Thank you. All right, dude. Thank you so much for calling in. And I and I have to be 100% honest. So I've I've been with Ink Software forever, you know, and and I'm not a huge fan of the software personally, but I I hear that that these fundraiser stores are an amazing program, but I have I I've I don't do it. I can't imagine going through and creating fundraising stores for clients and all this and that. So it's just not something I've ever dabbled in. But I would say that if you if the stores are an important part of, of your thing, then you're gonna you gotta sign up with Inksoft because I'm pretty sure that they've got it on lock. Um, I am gonna put a, a more a simpler fundraising store option in my software later on, uh, not with the intricacies that Inksoft or anything like that has. But I do understand that it's important. I just don't personally know how to do it. I've only been approached by a couple of things, like the YMCA approached me to do something once, uh, and that's about it. So I just can't speak to it, dude. I'm sorry. It, it, look into Inksoft's options. I know that they've got that shit on lock, and they have printers that are just making a killing at it. But as far as I could tell, you have to manually go through and set those fundraising stores up, dude. And if you're busy, 
It's like, oh, great. Here's one more thing I got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? If it were me and I were going to do fun, like, just to elaborate on this further, if I were going to do fundraising stores, it's like, that's all I would do. I would, I would stop being like a custom screen printing shop. I would not be a wholesale shop. I would only do fundraising stores because I feel like to do it well, you've really got to focus a lot of time and effort on it. Again, don't know though. Don't know. I'm just speaking out of turn with that. Uh, look into them. And I know that I think like the Deco Network has some options with that too. I will create fundraising store options later on, but it's not going to be on the first release. But I do understand how important it is. A lot of shops are making a killing at it. But I never did. Monahoo Cam, this is Will Center from Indigenous Graphics here in Bishop, California. Thank you for calling in, Will. I appreciate it. And it shows more, but for some reason they're not playing. What the hell? Hmm. Ain't don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Well, let's go on back to the thing. Dude, again, thank you so much, Creative Design and Ink. That's a freaking huge deal, man. What an amazing super chat. Um, oh, God, I just feel so guilty. Every single show, someone asks me how to price for these live screen printing events, dude. Uh, and there's just, yeah, I feel guilty, but yeah, dude, I just, I got to keep it. I mean, every single show, someone asks. Every vlog, every single everything, someone's asking about it. You all want it, don't you? You all really want it. Well, you have to get out there and figure it out. Mm. We just asked for a recipe to write it off on taxes. I don't know. Cam just gave away an antivolt to everyone that responded before. Well, that'd be nice. I'll take an antivolt any day. Uh, artists on printing on the custom software we're moving right along they're they're uploading it to the development server now we should have like a workable prototype and then I'll go live and I'll show you guys we'll do like a private live show for people in the print life Facebook group and I'll kind of show you guys where we're at uh, and then we'll get some input from you and we'll, we'll keep making changes but it's good we're moving along nicely we're still on track to be released in September so everything is going well don't sweat just hang tight guys uh, and then make a decision after you get a chance to run on the, um, the, the beta program for a while. Yeah. So, okay, here's an interesting one from Madison Smith. One video I was saying that we were looking for one or two good contract printers. And at the time we were, uh, I had built this system into my software that allowed me to uh, create accounts for contract printers, which made it really easy to acquire them. But the more I started looking into them and like, I don't know, man, I just, I got frustrated searching them out. And so I kind of was like, nah, that's not, that's not the really the way I want to go. But it was one of my requirements was to have them do the flattening press with Plastisol. If I were going to get one now, I would require them more or less to print almost exclusively with acrylic water-based ink. So things have changed. Uh, but during that time, yes, we were doing a flattening stroke or defibrillation stroke or defibrillation hit with our Plastisol inks. But we've been moving away from Plastisol. We pretty much don't print with white Plastisol anymore. It's all acrylic water-based. Um, but yeah, in the software, what I did was I had this thing in place where we could create, we created designer accounts and screen printer accounts. Uh, a contract screen printer, we could assign a job to them. They would, they would get an email notifying them. They would log in. They would see the job, they would print it, and then, you know, the garments would show up to them. So I built this whole thing in place, but what I found was with a lot of contract printers, uh, they already have their own system in place, and they don't want to adhere to my system. Uh, so the whole thing just kind of fell the fuck apart. But the designers love it a lot. But yeah, man, just keep your eye on it. We're going to be doing it soon. I talk to everyone and always carry stack business cards. Very cool. Uh... JC Castellanos, let's talk about keeping the shop cool. Summer is killing some of us. Dude, we've been doing it in Arizona for so long. I can stand out there all day and it doesn't even, it does not phase me. Jesse doesn't phase him either. I don't know. It's weird, man. I've been here in Arizona for like, I don't even know how many years now. I just go, oh, wow, it's hot. And then I, you know, go about my day. 
the guys were hitting me up for a while talking about getting them one of the master cool swamp coolers but i just never did uh particularly because with the swamp cooler you know the way it blows air on the screens it would end up drying your water base prints out it doesn't sound like a very good solution to me but maybe it is i don't know but the heat man i'm just i'm used to it where do you get your water-based inks from uh, mainly we get, I get most of my water-based inks from advanced screen print supply in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, I try to buy all my water-based from them and I try to buy the mo majority of the plastisol that we use from, um, Multicraft, but we've been steering away from plastisol as much as possible. So we haven't been shopping as much at Multicraft, you know what I mean? But again, I try to go local. Uh, as far as what inks we use right now, we use mainly Matsui water-based, and then we use m almost exclusively Wilflex for everything. However, we do use Union Bright Discharge White. But again, I've been trying to steer away from Discharge as well. So, uh, What's the design on your shirt? This shirt is an old... This is I was digging through all my old t-shirts that I had put away. This is a Supra Shoe Company shirt. It basically just says Supra, and it's like it's basically a CMYK print, as far as I could tell, uh, with some kind of graffiti kind of montage inside of it. It's really cool. I love this shirt. Alex has moved on to greener pastures. When we slowed down, you guys probably remember I had Alex on, um, kind of managing the shop or handling phone calls and doing all that stuff, and then helping Jesse go. Well, when we slowed down, I had to choose one or the other. Remember, I told you guys I raised my prices, and because of that, like, we kind of had to reset. It's like we started over again, and then I had to choose one of them. And because in my mind, like Jesse had already been printing, so his body was used to it, uh, whereas Alex was more doing the other stuff. And I was gonna step into one of the positions. It just seemed more logical to have Jesse stay on because he was physically used to the demand. Uh, and then I would took Alex's place and we, he just had to go find another job, but he's uh, he's good He's doing good guys. Everybody, everything's good in the hood with Alex. He's good Dude, I'm like I'm about to sneeze <sighs> All right, I think we can call it a wrap, huh? Let's go back to this thing I'm gonna see if this that these messages will play for some reason. They're not playing through here mm, One more time Nope Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up, guys. This one's going to be a short one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to follow me at Cam Irvin on Instagram and Twitter if you're not already. If you're not already, I'm super mad at you. So, the fuck, right? Uh, subscribe to the Print Life Podcast on iTunes, Google Play. Give me five stars and say something nice. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell if you haven't already and make sure that... After you ding the bell, it asks you how often you want to be notified. You got to get notified every single time. YouTube keeps making it harder and harder for your subscribers to fucking get your content. Um, one more thing. So I'm going back to my daily videos July 1st. So I got a few more days off and then I'm going to go back to doing dailies. Oh man, I don't got much time at all. That's basically not Sunday. So I'll be starting on Monday the 2nd of July. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try to get an editor. I'm gonna probably put Jesse on it in the evenings or something. I don't know. So keep an eye on my YouTube, guys. I'm gonna be posting to that a lot more frequently. Uh, if you're interested in being on this show, direct message me. Like I said, we are gonna start bringing guests on. I'm just taking my sweet ass time with it. Uh, I was making sure all of this stuff was all lined out. I've got another headset, so I am officially ready to start doing shows with people. So that'll be coming very, very shortly. I'm excited about that. Um, anything else? Don't think so. So stay tuned to YouTube, you guys. Keep consuming all my content. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and just do all that good shit. Y'all are awesome, Print Fam. We'll see you. Well, wait a minute. One more thing. Yeah, so by next Wednesday, I'll already be shooting and uploading uh, daily again. So that's pretty cool. I think the only I'm gonna go daily uh, Monday through Friday. So I'm gonna shoot and upload upload Monday through Friday, but I'm not gonna do Saturdays and Sundays because that shit just gets to be too much. So that's where I'm gonna end up uh, at least until we launch the software. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for probably for another three months. Then I'll take time off again, and I'll do another three months. Take time off, do another three months. That's just the way I do it, man. 
Uh, see you next time, Prime Fam. Take care of yourselves. Hey, peace out.